This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Wednesday, February 24th, 2016. Euro dollar. So it's going to be important to pay attention to the 110 level on Wednesday trade, with the market now trading into this previous resistance turn support area. If the market establishes a daily close below 110, this will do a good job of strengthening the bearish outlook and opening the door for a more immediate resumption of the broader downtrend, exposing 107.11 and then 105.21 further down. But if the market can hold above 110 on a closed basis, this could suggest that the the pair could see some more short-term upside with a break back above the high that we saw on Tuesday at 110.53 to potentially accelerate gains and open the door for a fresh upside extension back towards the 114 area. So right now, again, it's critical to watch this 110 level to see if the euro can close above or below. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to extend its declines to fresh seven year lows, with the market now focused on a measured move downside objective towards 135, which coincides with that critical 2009 base. At this point, any rally should be very well capped up towards the 142 area, with only a break back above 14408 to officially take the immediate pressure off the downside. Dollar yen. So dollar yen looks like it could be carving a fresh lower top at 114.87 with this to be confirmed on a break back below the recent multi-month low at 110.98. A break below 110.98 would open the next major downside extension towards the 107 area further down. At this point any rally should be very well capped up towards 114 while ultimately only back above the 116 area would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Euro Swiss. So despite the setbacks that we've seen in recent trade, some intense setbacks in Tuesday trade, the market continues to be very well supported into this previous resistance zone, now turned support around the 109 area. Ultimately, only back below 109 would delay the immediate bullish outlook, with a higher low now sought out in favor of the next major upside extension back above recent highs, multi-month highs at 112 further up. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is showing signs of stalling out by a key 78.6 Feb retracements off of the 73.85 to 68.27 move. At this point, the market should be favored to put in a lower top ahead of the next major downside extension and bearish uh, resumption back down towards that 68.27 recent multi-year low. At this point though, even if we did see a break above 72.65, ultimately, while the market holds below 73.85, the structure favors additional downside. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD continues to train within a very strong uptrend over the past several months, although the market has been showing signs of a correction off those recent near 13 year highs at 146.90. At this point, don't rule out the possibility of additional weakness potentially back down towards the 136 area, which coincides with that critical rising trend line support off the May 2015 low. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi is stalled out by the 6750 area and the market looks like it could be carving in a lower top ahead of the next downside extension. Look for a break below 6546 to help confirm and strengthen the outlook exposing 6347 further down. Back above 6752 would delay, but ultimately only back above 69 would take the pressure off the top side off the off the downside in Kiwi dollar. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has seen a bit of a correction in recent trade out from those recent multi-month lows at 1808, though any additional rally should prove difficult and well capped with the market seen putting in a lower top ahead of the next downside extension below 1808 and towards 1700 further down. Only back above 2000 would compromise this newly adopted bearish outlook. Gold. So gold continues to show signs of being very well supported on dips, with the market in the throes of a structural shift, a bullish structural shift, now focused on a break to next key resistance in the form of the 2015 high from January of 2015 at 1307. Any setback should now be very well supported into the 1150 area, while ultimately only back below 1100 would really compromise this newly adopted bullish outlook for gold.